I mean, I found and played and listed as the replacement, quotation marks. And I gotta say, if HNG is ever going to come back, miraculously, I am not going to come back. I never even had a mid PC to play it properly with 12 FPS and everything blurry. Don't know till this day how I managed to play it in those conditions. <laughs> Bros having Vietnam flashbacks, unbalanced in every single way and no new content but when it was dying and it wasn't even good. I only missed the first one two years when I knew it as it brings nostalgia but I prefer it to stay as good as a good memory and to rest in peace. <laughs> Buddy, that's all of us and we'd still play it, trust me. You play it too if you could play it on a good PC. There is one more thing if you need more similarities with HND. Enlisted is just basically War Thunder but in infantry configuration and yes, plane and tanks exist. Uh, uh, don't you worry, buddy. I'm eventually gonna be playing enlisted either way. Another enlisted comment. So, like World War II games as H and G, and a game which does things just way better in terms of progression, gameplay, and details, or content about World War II is enlisted. It's another enlisted comment. Same company that made War Thunder, Gaijin. You mean the snail? Uh, bro, for real, start venting there. Um, no comment. I tried to replace HNG with Enlisted, but the game was so grindy and the XP was so low when you play matches where bots were excluded. That's what kept me away from the other Gaijin games. I mean, the bots are always going to be one of those things that going to draw some people into the game and then it's going to completely make people back off from a game. You know, it's it's one of those things that just there's no middle ground. You either love them or you hate them. Irreplaceable. But we're still going to try to replace it anyways. You should really try realistic mode. I think once you get the hang of it, you will enjoy it way more since it will be less arcadey and you will actually have to lock in and spot enemies yourself and stuff. Plus you get way better rewards so the grind should be easier. I did try realistic mode once. Um, it was kind of interesting to tell you the truth, but uh, I got destroyed by planes mostly. Definitely agree with the sentiment of the video HNG gun without anything to replacement. That's true. That's true, Simon. To tell you the truth, I was actually hoping that Hellborn would be out by now and would replace HNG, but uh, well, I guess I'm gonna be making another video talking about that eventually. What I loved was the great mix of arcade and realism. Of course it wasn't realistic, but almost all other shooters are either too slow paced for me or an ADHD simulator where everyone is an Olympic acrobat. Yeah, I agree. I think that was the sweet spot for gameplay. You know, between the game being too realistic to the point where like it's a snooze fest, you fall asleep before you find an enemy and then you just run in trying to find someone and then you die. Kind of like Hell at Loose. At least that's my experience with Hell at Loose. Or it being too arcadey to the point where like you just have a headache after like half an hour playing the game. Tanking in HNG is done with those gas Rambos who bounce on <laughs> topography and whistle and kill each other while making the most random chemistry using H3. <laughs> H trees, hand grenades, and watermelon launchers. <laughs> hey now, they're potato launchers, get it right, buddy. Please don't play arcade and please don't bring so much ammo. More ammo in your tank, more boom. Yeah, I kind of found out that one myself, but I appreciate it, buddy. I will uh, keep it in mind the next time. I tried to replace an HNG and figured out that there are a few games that fit few HNG vibes, and here we go. 1. Planet Side 2. Moving around the map is quite pleasant. You can you can set your strategic points and collect resources to build bases. You can help your friends on land, water and air. The biggest problem of this game is when several factions line up around one point. It's really difficult to break through anywhere. And it's free to play. Enlisted, it's a snail game about World War II where just like HNG, you fight for points but it's not the same. Also free to play. And then Hill at Lucy Squad 44. Both games have similar themes to World of World War II. Uh, but have different approaches to the topic. There is voice chat in both cases. Together you can win or lose, as the multiplayer games do. Sometimes you will find good people, sometimes, well, I'll leave it without comment. <laughs> it's fate to play in both cases. I won't write anything more. I have, if I have interest in you, see for yourself and judge according to your preference. Good luck in finding your happiness and filling the void left by HNG. Oh, he says, wait, there is one more battlefield simulator, a hidden gem where physics don't work and there is a lot of bugs. The only game where while driving a tank you can be set to space to a space mission to the other end of the map. A unique game where you can create your own scenarios and play with friends or find a group and play role playing games with them and it's called Armor 3 of course pay to play. It's a really wholesome comment. I appreciate it. Appreciate you taking the time to just write this comment and you know try to help us out. I replaced H and G with Enlisted, but it wasn't the same. Maps too tight, and most of them just not fun to play, and also just missing the strategy part. That's one way to look at Enlisted, I guess. Yeah. 54 APCR shells. This is painful to witness. Hey man, give me a break. I'm new here. As someone with well over 5.6 hours in War Thunder on my current Steam account alone.
on. I don't play it anymore except for a handful of planes. Volumetrics is absolute cancer. And mixed tanks unplayable at times. Anything can bounce off of anything at any time. Luckily, there is a similar game that is only is not only way more fun, but is actually good. And the graphics is a bit more similar to HNG. Curse tank similar is a damn Roblox game. <laughs> that is just better. That is Alright, brother. Alright. Okay. I get it. Do we have any Roblox players, guys? Any Roblox players can confirm or deny in the comments. I just play Hill at Loose and Battlebit now. Not really a replacement, but Battlebit gives me the funny feeling and Hill, and Hill at Loose the World War II aspect when I drive the trucks to bring supplies around. Rip the go to the HNG. I mean, I didn't know that Battlebit had the funny part. Freaking Miss HNG, it had something nothing else had. Too true, man. Too true. 1800 hours of War Thunder here. The game is pure suffering and I just recently quit. It's a horribly unbalanced miss and genuinely the HNG divs were less... <laughs> oh my god. I do not want anyone play in this game anymore. That comment, it had a lot of pain and suffering. I hope you're doing well, bro. I, I hope you found something else better than War Thunder that is making you happy now. Oh god, you have gone from one pain game to the other. Best of luck keeping your sanity. War Thunder is the only PvP game I have more hours in than HNG on Steam. It's both one of my favorite games and most hated. Would definitely recommend playing Tank RP as its core mode nowadays since they don't care a ton about air anymore. Maybe even Ground Sim if you feel brave enough. Ground Sim is basically a tank RP, but limited camera, no name tags, and friendly fire. Oh god, this, yeah, this d sounds like a disaster waiting to happen f for me, but mostly for the people that are gonna be playing around me on the same team. But RB and Sim also give you so much higher XP and money than Arcade. But your game's pretty good till just past World War II, then becomes utter pain. Biggest issue with the game is lack of game modes, variety, and really bad maps making up most of the rotation. I actually agree with you. Most of the maps I play are really bad. I have to go in and thumbs up like the maps I want to play and thumbs down the maps I don't want to touch ever again. Because it's just some maps are like terrible for tanks. War Thunder does have a kind of war mode called World War Mode, though nobody plays it, and I'm pretty sure it's basically abandoned and it was poorly implemented. Uh, I'm gonna have to look at that, actually, I've never tried that one before, I don't even know it exists. Still enjoy, I'm sadly far too gone now with the snail, but still hoping for an FES replacement for HNG, currently the only hope is World War 2 II Online 2.0, if and when it comes out, but but it's being made by like 10 people on the budget of two large fish and chips and one beer. <laughs> oh man, man, H and G players are just too. They're the unluckiest. I'm not gonna lie. We we are just unlucky. I, like out uh, like you look at Call of Duty players out there. They get a new game every year. Hey, it's Call of Duty and we make fun of them. But hey, man, they pay the 70 bucks or the 60 bucks or whatever they pay every year and they're happy. You know, they play it when they come back from work and they're actually happy. They enjoy it. You know, saying the N-word in the chat and all that, but they're happy. You, you get the point, right? Meanwhile, we're out here just looking for something to make us miserable. And we're not able to find it.